Hi guys and welcome back to another flight simulator video. Today I'm going to be looking at the Airbus A330. Uh, we've got a flight from Dublin to New York uh, via Aer Lingus. So after playing around with this aircraft for a while, um, I do like it, but there are some things that can be improved. Uh, number one, autopilot for some reason just doesn't want to work. Um, so what I do, I usually just uh, on the map before we get into the game i just set out two destinations so for instance uh, dublin to new york i'll do the takeoff from dublin uh, cruise for a bit and then set my speed and my altitude to a setting that i'd want so let's say 25,000 feet at 350 knots um, and then i'd press the autopilot button uh, when i do that it just doesn't want to work the plane just seems to want to drop out of the air um, i'm not sure if it's because we need to input it through the plane systems. I, I did see a video, a tutorial from Latin VFR uh, using Simbrief um, and I tried doing that but for some reason it just took so long to actually work that the systems didn't go green on the onboard computers so I just ended up doing just taking off manually. Uh, so autopilot is number one. Uh, number two this is pretty much a game related issue um, I think but these lags, these lags are horrendous, uh, it glitches way too much, the frames, they drop way too much, it, sometimes it makes it uh, unflyable. L luckily, when I've had it, it's not been that bad, but it still just feels like the game's gonna crash. Um, luckily, I've not had any CTDs yet, so fingers crossed it stays like that, but the frame drops that I do have, it lasts for around 10-15 seconds, and then it just goes. So uh, there's that. Uh, number three, some of the screens inside the aircraft. So uh, if you watch my videos regularly, you you know that I time drop from uh, takeoff to landing. So when I start my landing procedure, uh, the screens um, they just start bugging out. Um, I don't know if I've included it in this video, but essentially the maps and the speed, the first two screens you see there. They just, they don't work, they've got an error message for some reason. Um, after a while it does come back, but by then I've already landed, so uh, yeah, that's that's another thing that I think they need to improve. But overall, I mean, the plane is quite nice to fly, um, it handles pretty well, I've not really had uh, any major issues, so um, yeah, I am impressed with it. If they could just fix these issues that I've pretty much outlined and then yeah plane's good to go um rate at four out of ten it is a bit pricey at 29.50 i think for the uk um and i have seen reports of people flying the plane and it's just crashing or their screens turn to black so uh, yeah fingers crossed i don't get all those issues but that's just my initial impressions after playing around with the aircraft uh, aircraft a bit more uh let me know if you've encountered any of these issues in the comments below um I am glad that we actually have a long haul airliner right now. I mean, some of the stuff that we've received in the marketplace the last few months have been atrocious. This is actually the first item that I've bought in a while. So um, I know there's an A340 from uh, Latin VFR coming soon as well. Fingers crossed they fix those issues as well. But yeah, at least someone has actually released an aircraft for us. I know Aerosoft has been in the process of building an A330 for us, but that's been months i mean they pro they said they wanted to get out by the end of summer we're in winter now mid-october and we still received nothing so uh yeah hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video uh leave a like press that subscribe button and yeah enjoy my landing uh, and thanks for watching
400. Thank you. 